Will we or won't we see it? It's a question that had the Guam Public Library stumped as they were expecting Guam to be able to view the annular solar eclipse on October 14th. It's also caused a bit of confusion for the National Weather Service as Guam wouldn't be able to see it anyways due to the weather and time. It's the middle of the night so we're not going to see the sun at 1 a.m. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but I am baffled by your message that mm -hmm. the folks said that we would see it here. It all started from a visit from stateside experts last year who hyped up the upcoming solar event, even sending over solar glasses and a telescope to the Hagania Library. But as National Weather Service lead meteorologist Landon Aidlet finds out in a hilarious moment caught on camera, it's not the Guam you're thinking of. I love this. This is like fantastic. Because, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about driving there from Kansas City until I saw how far away it is. A quick Google search showing where the hiccup came from, a town called Guam in Missouri. Change the story just a little bit, but yes, we will be able to see it from Guam in Missouri. <laughs> <laughs> but what is an annular solar eclipse anyways, and are we missing out? The moon passes between the earth and the sun, but the annular solar eclipse occurs because the, the moon is actually smaller than the sun's diameter, so you have this ring of light. A ring of fire, one that you don't see every day. But there's another chance for the island to see a spectacular sight soon. We will have a partial lunar eclipse later this month and we will see that from Guam. So good news to sky watchers. That will be uh, Sunday morning, October 29th, starting around 4 o'clock in the morning and then it's going to reach totality right around 6.15, 6.14 in the morning. It's a brief window to view a partial lunar eclipse, which will turn the moon a darker shade of red. Aidlid reminds sky watchers to wear the proper eyewear and never stare directly at the sun. These will help block out a lot of the uh, dangerous rays coming from the sun. You can't see through them, but you will see that little glimmer of sunlight that comes through the glass, through the filters. Matsuki Hirayama, KUAM News.